Welcome back to another video. Today, I will be doing Kamala Harris's most likely path to obtaining 270 electoral votes. Before I begin, I'd just like to say this is not my election prediction. This is not what I think is going to happen. This is a hypothetical scenario, in my opinion, which would get Kamala Harris 270 electoral votes, her easiest path to winning the presidency. I made a video about Trump a day ago. Today, I'm doing a video on Kamala Harris. Uh, with that being said, Let's immediately just get into those safe hair states. Um, not Indiana, I meant to do Illinois, um, which is going to get her about to about 180-ish, 190-ish uh, electoral votes. Obviously does very well in the Northeast and in Maine. So there you go, 180, excuse me, 191 electoral votes with the state of Hawaii. For Donald Trump, he'll still get his usual 125 I won't be characterizing Ohio and Iowa and Maine second, although he will win it in this scenario. That is not her most likely path to 270. For this video, I'm going to be basically doing the amount of states that she needs to just cross that finish line and her most likely path to doing so. So I'm not going to do her most likely path to 300 plus. It's just to 270. It's just to that key number that would get her the presidency. Uh, with that being said, let's get into our likely Harris. This is going to be a brief video, nothing particularly long. Uh, likely states will be the state of New Mexico. State of Virginia, State of Minnesota, Maine at large, and New Hampshire. Getting her to 225, her usual floor for the original predictions in the first place. Likely states for Trump. State of Texas, State of Florida, Ohio, Iowa, and Maine 2nd Congressional District. Um, the typical and usual states that Trump usually gets. He very likely will win these states, and Harris really doesn't have a path even with winning these states at 270. She has a much clearer path with winning other states. Now, uh, Kamala Harris is going to win Nebraska's 2nd Congressional District by a lean margin. She's probably likely to win that regardless. It's not really going to have much of an effect on the prediction, I don't think. So she'll win the state of Michigan by a lean margin. Let's head over to some Trump states. That gets her to 241, so that means 29 electoral votes more, and then she becomes president think that the state of North Carolina is a bit out of reach for the Harris campaign, and I don't think she's going to end up winning there. I also think that the state of Georgia, after recent election laws, things like the state of Georgia, is a little bit out of reach for the vice president. Uh, going forward, what's the next likely state? The state of Pennsylvania, win by a lean margin. She didn't pick Josh Shapiro, so that may hurt her a little bit over there, but even with Tim Walls, she could perform a little bit better in the Rust Belt. Not saying this is going to happen. This is her best path to 270 is likely maintaining that blue wall. For Trump, performing much better with Hispanics could mean that he could win states like Nevada and Arizona. That gets him to 268. Therefore, if Harris is able to retain the blue wall, Wisconsin, Michigan, Pennsylvania, she'll win the presidency. Now, many people could argue that her deciding not to pick Josh Shapiro to be VP could end up biting her in, in the ass at the end of the day, and therefore losing the state like Pennsylvania, which she's down in the polls in at the moment, deciding to pick Tim Walls, a much more liberal left-wing governor, compared to Shapiro, who is more of a moderate, could hurt her in the Rust Belt. Now, you could argue as well that if she picked Shapiro, she would have done worse among Arabs in state like Michigan, and she would have lost that state. So she's in a bit of a, a tight spot. However, her most likely path to winning the presidency is holding the Rust Belt, holding the blue wall that Hillary Clinton lost, and Joe Biden slightly rebuilt, although it is it was nowhere near as powerful in 2020 as it was back in 2012. The margins that Biden won compared to Obama against Romney were very, very large. And it was, I would say, a slight reconstruction, if you want to call it that. So Harris is going to have to hold on to that. It's going to be very hard for her to do so. But that's her most likely path to winning the presidency, in my mind. Trump could win North Carolina, Georgia, Arizona, and Nevada and all of these other states, and still lose the presidency if she holds on to the Rust Belt. Now, I guess, as I did in my nightmare prediction, he could win Nebraska second, which would mean it would go to the House of Representatives, but I don't really see that happening if Harris holds on to the Rust Belt. With that being said, that is Harris's most likely path to 270. Thank you for watching the video. Make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Stay tuned for more videos, and comment below your thoughts on this scenario. Have a good one.